it's Ben from EVM Modesto here and in today's two minute tip I'm going to show the use of parameters in Ansys Mechanical. So parameters, uh, they allow you to change the value of uh, critical dimensions without you back into your CAD software uh, and this saves you from only having to update the values and re-importing the geometry file. Instead you can uh, change the dimensions within the workbench uh, environment and then it'll update the, the model in mechanical uh, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So I've brought in a parametric model and the parameters have already been defined. You can see this uh, by the parameter set uh, being attached to uh, the system here in the schematic. Uh, and this can be done in your CAD software uh, and be part of uh, the importation process. Uh, you can bring parameters through with the geometry or you can use a uh, space claim uh, to create the parameters after you've imported in the geometry. I already have a mechanical window open, uh, so let's just jump into that. So I have a, a model of a connecting rod from an engine, uh, and this is set up with boundary conditions. So you can see there is a fixed support here on the big end, and we have a force acting on the small end here, uh, and this would replicate the uh, compressive load uh, this con rod would, would experience in, in an engine. So this model is set up with two parameters. So the first parameter is the thickness of the con rod itself. Uh, so it's so the, so the dimension is from, from this face here uh, to this face. You can see that that's currently 20 millimeters. And the other dimension is of the thickness of the rib here, uh, and this is uh, from this face that's been highlighted uh, to this face here. So this is currently six millimeters. So if I uh, go back to the workbench window and open up the parameter set, you can see these two parameters uh, that I've just, just talked about here. So we have the conrod thickness and we have the rib thickness. And these are set up as the half thickness. Um, so you can see that this is this is 10 millimeters uh, and this is this is three. So this is a, a symmetric uh, move. So it, this is from a center line out towards the face of, of the part. So if I change this uh, from 10 to uh, 11, the total thickness will be 22 millimeters. And if I change this to uh, four millimeters, the total thickness of the rib will be eight millimeters. So uh, I'm going to update uh, the model and this will take a minute or two. Um, so I'm just going to take a, a quick break uh, just so you don't have to wait uh, while it uploads. Hello and welcome back. Um, so the model has now updated. Uh, so if you go into the mechanical window, you can now see uh, if I just let the thickness of the come up. Uh, that this is now at 22 millimeters, and if I just select the rib, this is now 8 millimeters. Uh, so, being able to change uh, a couple of dimensions in the model, and um, we haven't had to re import uh, our file from the, from the CAD system. So, one benefit uh, of this is it saves us from having to reset up the boundary conditions. And so, if we go back into the tree, you can see that we still have our fixed support and our force applied to the same faces and we haven't had to uh, to re redo these. Um, and another advantage of using parameters is that uh, it lets you uh, run a design study. So if you want to try out uh, a range of different dimensions and uh, you can do this automatically. Uh, you don't need to manually uh, input uh, or even import files uh, to change the values at each step. Um, you can run a load of different iterations overnight and then come back in the morning and have a look at the results. And so I hope this has been a helpful insight into using parameters with simulation and how they can help you during the design stage of your components.